Praise God. So good to be here this evening. Praise God. It's good to know the Lord Jesus Christ. It's good to come into a place like this and uh, get Jesus on our mind because He's good. He can do anything tonight. He can work miracles. He can work miracles. He can uh, bring the Word to us. He can illuminate our minds. He can bring us out of depression. He can bring us to a place that uh, we've not went before. And I, I feel tonight that that's where we're all at tonight in the Spirit. I feel like we all want to go to a higher place in God. We uh, don't want to stay on the same level. That's God right. don't want us to stay on the same no. level. Amen. Maybe you've been there too long and you, uh, things are beginning to get uncomfortable. Things are beginning to go a little contrary. and It's yeah. like you begin to get a little dry where you're at. But there ain't no time to get discouraged. It's a time to realize that God wants us to come closer to Him. Yes, yeah. Get more involved with Him. Yeah. Yes. And get this entertainment out of our minds. You know, yeah. we're people that we want to be entertained. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And a uh, uh, matter of fact, sometimes as Christians, uh, 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 we have that spirit of entertainment. We want to be entertained by other Christians. And, and believe it or not, we want to be entertained with the gospel yeah. coming from other Christians. And I... Uh, God began to show me that uh, that I had fell into this trap. Uh, uh, <laughs> that I just wanted to watch ministry all the time. Mm. Now you know this within itself that sounds real good. Not just get rid of old sector TV and all that mess and uh, just listen to Christian ministry all the time. And I'm going to tell you, uh, for the last few months that's about all I've done. But see, that's good, but that's not the best. Amen. Because what we're doing, we're drinking out of someone else's uh, well. Yeah, yeah. And God wants us to get in that relationship with Him and get into that closest to Him that we can drink out of that well that He's put in every one of us. Amen. That we can drink out of our own well, that yeah, well that yeah. God has created in yeah. us. Amen. Because, see, He's given us His voice. His voice is within every one of us. Yeah. And we have, uh, we've got an option from Him. Yeah. And we know all things, and we've got an anointing, every one of us. Yeah. We've got Christ in you, the hope of glory. We've got this anointing within us, yeah. and God wants us to deal uh, straight with Him and straight out of this anointing that He's placed in us that He would teach us what we need to know. Yeah. So yeah. we can go just as far with God, as close to God as He shows us how to. Amen. Does that make sense tonight? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Well, I tell you, I want to get closer to God. I was out praying and, um, a while back and uh, I always had my hour of prayer and it's good to have an hour of prayer. It's good to have a time of prayer just to get everything out of mind. Yeah. But God told me, He said, look, this is good but this is not the best. Yeah. Uh, have we, are you willing to trade in the good tonight for where you're at to something even better? Yeah. Yeah. That's what we want to ask ourselves. Are we willing yeah. to do that? Yeah. Are we willing to make a change? Because this change is what's going to bring you in a closer relationship with the Lord that He will be able to reveal Himself. Yeah. Said that uh, uh, He may reveal Himself in us in a greater way. We don't need no second-hand stuff. We need it directly from the Father. Yeah. Jesus was in such a place with the Father that, uh, and He stayed busy once He was filled with the Holy Ghost and uh, came out of the wilderness. He stayed busy for the Father because yeah. He was in a place that He was hearing what the Father was saying and He was uh, doing what He seen the Father do. Mm -hmm. And this is where God wants us as individuals in, of, of the body of Christ. That's where He wants us to be. He wants us to be in that place that our calling, what He's called us to do and be, that, that we can draw from Him that we would be just exactly like Jesus Christ yeah. in that area of, of ministry or calling or whatever we're supposed to be doing. It don't matter where we're at and, and what we're doing. But the Lord, He it's good to come. I, I remember, you remember the, uh, the apostles, they, uh, they went to prayer at the ninth hour. They, they always went to prayer there at the place called Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And God was blessing them. But you know, I got a feeling, brother, that they were doing more than just uh, praying at the ninth hour. Yeah. Uh, they were continually uh, in prayer and in the ministry of the Word. Amen. And that's the way we're supposed to be as Christians. 
God wants us to, as we are going about our daily activities, He wants us to be in constant communion with Him with that attitude of praise and prayer, uh, calling on Him and uh, worshiping Him and thanking Him. Uh, sometimes it might not be out loud, but He wants us to get to that place that's uh, so close to Him that, uh, amen, that we just won't uh, get up with Him at, uh, maybe on Wednesday night or Sunday night or, 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 or whenever, but we will stay in a place with Him. Yeah. Amen. Because in Him, uh, we move and live and have our being. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And amen. God's a God that He wants us all the time. Yeah. Uh, what if you just saw your wife every two or three days or saw your spouse every two or three days? And Amen. Uh, but we want more than that. Uh, yeah. We want to be close to Him. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, uh, just for instance, uh, and I believe God... You know, he said that um, he that's joined unto the Lord is one spirit. Mm -hmm. It's not just enough to know the Lord and walk with Him as Him being our Savior, but He wants to be our Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he wants yeah. to Lord over our life totally and completely. Yeah. And He wants us to be a willing, submitted vessel unto Him yeah. so that He can reveal Himself in us and through us at all times. Yeah. Because even when we're in the world out there, amen, we don't just have to go to church to see people that's got needs. And we're seeing each other's deeds. And surely we do pray one for another. Yeah. That we may be healed. But all the sinners and all the Christians that we run into in the marketplace. Amen. We should be in a place with God. Amen. That what would Christ say and what would... What would God do? Amen. But so many times when we get in the, in the presence of other people and we know they've got a need, especially those that don't know the Lord, but sometimes we don't have nothing to say to them. Amen. And if it is, it's just something kind of dry by faith. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to tell you, God wants us to get into that place. Amen. Where there's a river that's flowing. Yeah. Amen. Through yeah. us. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Inside yeah. of your innermost bellies will flow. Yeah. Rivers of living waters. Amen. That we'd be able to give somebody a drink from yeah. these waters. Amen. That's not old and musky. Oh, not something, oh, amen, some testimony we've had a long time ago, but something that's fresh and something yeah. that's real. My God, that we can pour them full yeah. of the Spirit of the Lord. Yeah. Amen. That He will cause something to get hold of their heart yeah. and change their life and give them something that they can hold on to. Yes. Yeah. Oh, my God. He wants us to go on and get closer to Him and what we're talking about tonight is, is trading off the good for even something that's best and amen. something that's better. Yeah. But you know, uh, from time to time, amen, there's no such thing as, thing as just getting in a place with the Lord and just staying there and loving God and just mm -hmm. doing the same old, same old. Uh -huh. Because you see, in His kingdom there's no end. There's just no end to the things and to the uh, things that God wants us to walk in. Amen. And there's no end to the changes that's going to take place in our life. Yeah. We know when Jesus comes, these old, these old mortal bodies are going to take on immortality. Yeah. Yeah. And we're going to be changed. But praise the Lord, I believe we can be changed by the Spirit of the Lord. Yeah. Amen. From time to time. Yeah. Oh, some people just get in the rut in the same old thing. But I believe if we're walking with the Lord, like we're supposed to be walking with the Lord, there are going to be some new things. Yeah. Amen. That's going to take place in our life. Yeah. There are going to be some changes. There's going to be some changes in your prayer life. Yeah. There's going to be yeah. some changes in your praises. Yeah. There's going to be some changes in places that you go. Yeah. You know, just on the earth, sometimes you, you just want to get away from this environment and maybe go on a vacation. But sometimes when you're on a vacation, it seems like you get kind of tired and wore out. You, you might wish you'd just stay home. But what is, there's no really such thing as really going on a vacation. It's just a change of environment. Yeah. But I believe tonight we want a change of an environment. Amen. We want a hit your weight of glory, my yeah. God, to fill our souls. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. To be revealed in us. Amen. Yeah. Something new, something refreshing. Amen. Something that can not only, something that can change us and, uh, and quicken us and also change other people too. That's yeah. right about us. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. That's right. So we, we have to consider all these things, but 
But God said, I just don't want you to show up, put your little prayer place to see me. But all through the day, he said, you know, God's called, he's created us. Amen. That he may have somebody to talk to, yeah. somebody yeah. to fellowship. And he wants to fellowship us yeah. all. You know, he's talking about pray continually. And also let the pray, uh, continually praise him. And you would say, well, I can't do that all the time. But let me tell you something. Yes, you can. Uh, you can do it all the time. You might not be doing it verbally all the time, but we 